I'll be honest. What was that? I had no idea that was like what? I woke up and I'm like, yeah, insane. Roll those highlights. California as we begin week 14 of the NFL season. It's up on the right side and on third and five going deep downfield and the coverage is good. Does he one-handed flag comes in? There's Adams. Adams, meanwhile, into the end zone. And Carlson, who is money. And Gay's kick is good. Daniel Carlson. Cole puts it down. From the 23. Loses the ball. Akers losing it. Bar. Down the sideline for Adams. Does he make the grab inbounds? But where is he? They look at each other, the official. Third and five. Bar under pressure. Softball is picked off. And Stepping up. Going deep. And there's a pumping and shoving and a flag is thrown. Okay. Much yardage as Carlson banks that one straight down the middle. Mayfield in the pocket to the outside, reaching up, grabbing it. Trying to get back in. Meanwhile, fourth and one. Can Mayfield keep it alive? It's caught. This is Akers into the end zone. Does he get in there? The Rams say yes. You want a Baker Mayfield presence in your locker room, in your quarterback room. You and you passed up on a Josh Allen, looking at what Josh Allen is. Listen, people make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, but it does make you look at personnel. Mayfield from his own end. On third and one, look out, Mayfield hit as he throws, and that is intercepted with a flag, though. Guard line. To give them more light. Deep down. Got more. Line, and it is caught by Skoranek. Second and ten, Mayfield to the end zone to Jefferson. Is that possible? Touchdown. I see up on the screen so I can look at him when I'm asking him and playmaker this. What's the difference between Baker Mayfield and Johnny Manziel? No, no, no. <laughs> Ben's Karanik making plays. Yep. All right, but to be able to come in here 10 minutes ago and help lead us to a victory. See you guys on Monday. Baker Mayfield. Yeah! Six-game winning streak by having a guy named, um, who took an Uber to the game. Yeah, he took an Uber Uber to the game, as I'll put it. 17-16 win over the Raiders. Raiders fall to 5-8. and eight. I mean, bro, the Raiders stink. Like, they were literally up 16-3 in this one. But, um, yeah, I am, like, super surprised the Rams won. But, hey, they scored on their last two drives, and, yeah, they, they won. <laughs> Derek Carr was 11-21-37. Two interceptions. He sucked the whole game. He had, like, one decent throw. He was awful, though. Probably his worst career game. He was awful. Josh Jacobs struggled mightily in terms of efficiency. He had, like, a couple pretty decent runs, and he had a touchdown. Uh, Devontae Adams at 3 for 71. He got actually clamped down. Uh, after, like, the, let's say, like, the midway mark of the third quarter, Devontae Adams got actually shut down by Jalen Ramsey. He couldn't get open. Uh, and he really, like, didn't actually get that much separation the whole game. Of course, that great catch on the first drive, though. Uh, Matt Collins wasn't... Very involved. Should have been more involved. He was actually getting open. Uh, he also had three carries for 40 yards. Defensively, Nate Hobbs, uh, you're not that great. I mean, you gave up some big separation plays. You can't. They did have four sacks, though, so that's good. Uh, Max Crosby, I will say he's probably the one of the... Uh, you know what? <coughs> Help. Right now, he's 
probably 1A, 1B with maybe, you could say, Miles Garrett, but he's definitely a top three edge rusher. He is just absolutely insane. It's insane watching him play. But either way, he had a sack. Uh, their defense was pretty good. Daniel Carson had three field goals, as he usually does. Uh, Baker Mayfield, obviously, the 98-yard touchdown drive was a 98-yard touchdown drive. First in the last 45 seasons. That's insane. 22 of 35, 230, and a touchdown for him. Cam Baker's not very efficient, but he did look pretty good, actually, on the ground overall. Did fumble, though. He's not, like, perfect. He's not very good even then. Uh, Kyler Williams, uh, not 3 for 19, should get, definitely get more touches. He also had, uh, one, for, one catch for 10 yards in the receiving game. Betts Garotic had, of course, that phenomenal catch, 7 for 89 in total. Starius Atwell had 5 for 50. Van Jefferson, 2 for 44, and, of course, that goal had touchdown. Defensively, they had two big interceptions by Taylor Rapp and Ernest Jones. One of the interceptions, after, oh, yeah, it was at the end of the game, what the heck. Um, but, yeah, uh, <coughs> Troy Hill, 7 tackles, Bobby Wagner, 6 tackles. Yeah, he gave him those two big catches, but other than that, he was really good. Honestly, other than, again, though, other than those two catches, he was really good. Not a great game overall by Jalen Ramsey, but that's because of those two catches. Nick Scott, four tackles, great game, three tackles. Michael Hoyt is not an, is not an uh, outside linebacker. Let me just say that. Uh, well, in terms of you, of course, Matt gave him that 61-yarder. Uh, Statistically, the Raiders literally had a lot more yards. It just was a defensive game in overall, though. The special was actually uh, pretty uh, similar. Two to one turnover ratio, more like one to one, but whatever. Rams offensive line was a lot worse than the um, Raiders. They're actually better in the run game, which I was surprised by, but they were. Oh, that, that's how it worked out. Rams with the ball more for three more plays. Again, came down to um, that that one drive by uh, what is called Baker Mayfield. That's the reason the Rams won. That's all I got for this one, guys. Let's get right to the keys to game grace for both these teams. And for the Raiders' offense, run the ball early. They were able to do that, get a two-score lead. They were able to do that, control the clock. They were not able to do that. Offensively, I have to give them two, uh, three minuses. Against a bad defense, they actually did what they were supposed to. But again, in the fourth quarter, they got way, and I mean way too cute. That is the reason they lost. But again, most of the game, they did phenomenally with what they were supposed to do. But again, those, you know, I'll give them five, four minuses. But they blew it at some points in the game. That's the reason they lost. Raiders' defense, but it's the quarterback. They did that. Make Baker or the other QB beat you. They did. And blow up the run. They weren't great against the run. Defensively, it was a collapse, but again, it was probably more Baker. Defensively, though, I will give them three minuses. The Raiders actually didn't play the worst game I've ever seen, but they weren't very good. They played a really bad game overall, but it wasn't the worst game I've seen. Let's get to the Rams. So the Rams' win was not because their offense did what I wanted them to do. It was simply because Baker said screw it and then won the game. So, offensively, Five pluses. I really don't care. This is probably the only week I'll ever give him anything close to this. Best game of the season because of Baker Mayfield. Whatever. Baker probably won't be on the Rams next year. I really don't care. Rams defense, under 20 points. They did that. Under 200 rushing yards a lot. They did that. They actually played a pretty darn good game off defensively. Like, they have basically every single game this season except one game against the 49ers. And maybe one game against the Cardinals. I don't really remember. Or against the <laughs> Saints. So, um... Uh, Defensively for the Rams, I will give them four pluses. Equally, equally were, were as good, but they didn't have to step up the way the Rams' the offense did. They still stepped up mightily, but they didn't have to do it as much as the Rams' offense did. That's all I got for this one, guys. Let's get right to the outro. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Week 14 Thursday Night Football recap. Obviously, it's the same game. You could, you could argue it's the best Thursday Night game of the year. But yeah, that's all I got for this one, guys. Obviously, a great NFL Sunday. We'll get to those uh when tomorrow. Yeah, well, that's when I record them. But yeah, um, see you on Sunday, I guess, at 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's when it comes out. So yeah, see you then, and hope you guys enjoyed. And he misses!